All right, so it's uh, Wednesday night, and I'm going to do a kind of a quick update on our Ricochet off-road armor skid plate system install. We got it all installed. We just got to tighten a few more bolts. I need like a T40 Allen wrench, and I didn't have one, of course. It's weird. I got 8,000 8, other sizes, but that particular size, and they have like this lock nut that they go the bolt has to go through, so... Long story short, I really just don't have the right like little thing, so I need to tighten up about six or seven of them. Anyway, as you can see, that it actually wraps up on the side of the rocker, so it's going to protect my rockers. I did buy some rock sliders, but I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to have to notch these if I'm going to put my rock sliders. They're like little tubes, you know. Nerf bars, like probably won't end up putting them on. I'll probably just send them back. Anyways. One good thing is it protects these uh, front corners. You can see. I guess these are pretty notorious for getting banged and broke. It's just plastic. Anyways, we'll go down underneath. I got a light down there, so I'm sorry if it blinds you. But anyways, you can see it's, uh, it's aluminum. That went on first, and then this, this high-density plastic goes on over top of it and you see now it's got the full rocker there, there was nothing in this area as far as skid plates from the stock nothing at all so now we got full protection under here this is the battery area and then the rockers again these are I got I got to get a couple of these tight and then I'll be all set but what a difference I'm not gonna say I'm bulletproof but man we're gonna be in pretty good shape. It's got the A arm covers, front and rear. Pretty nice system, but it should be because it was like fourteen hundred dollars. Then again, if you're gonna use a machine and you're gonna bounce it off some rocks, which we definitely will be. You want to make sure you got the right stuff. You know, you tear out one of these axles. Or bend an A-arm, you're in trouble. Especially that deep in the woods. Next year I'll have a lift kit on here. And uh, help get up over some of the rocks. I'll do a little back view. I don't know if I have to bring the light down here. Sorry about that, guys. So you can see that the A-arms. Rear A arm protectors. Now, one thing I'm going to try to figure out and add is a. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I need some protection right across there. Some, it looks pretty easy. My buddy can just make me some kind of plate that'll go across here. Because this is like the transmission or the rear diff and stuff. So, I mean, this will help. And obviously the bumper. But you never know. Something goes up in there. So I'm going to see if I can figure out some kind of plate to put across there. Even if it's just a couple bars. It'll definitely help. At least peace of mind. Plus my buddy Ryan, A.K. Costanza. He spotted that very first thing. He's like, man, you got to cover that. So anyways. Yeah. She's looking dirty, that's for sure. Just from going up and down the rainy roads. But we're leaving for Drummond in two days, Saturday. So, like, well, Thursday, Friday, yeah, so it's three days, really. All right, got my heater. Heater's in. Let me see here. Obviously, the machine's not running, so it's not going to throw any heat. Get the switch. So let's see what she sounds like. Oh, yeah. Oh, feel that. Feel that breeze now. Oh, mercy. Yep. Some kind of thermostat was supposed to come in for me today. I didn't see it. Where we can where you tie you run these heater hoses. And I had to cut the actual radiator hose. And there's a there's a like a Y pipe that I plumbed in there. And um, so I'm gonna actually end up taking that out and put this thermostat thing in there that has the Y on it. Supposed to help it 
uh, heat up better and all that stuff because they say that these things at low RPM is not gonna throw much heat so they put that thermostat thing in there it's called a max stat and it's supposed to help it uh, maintain some heat in the line so that you uh, actually get some heat so anyways apparently that's that's the way to go I should have ordered it when I ordered my heater but it, I went cheap you know I wanted to save 99 bucks and then after I watched a couple of videos, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta have that. Because on Drummond Island, you don't go that fast. You're, going, you're crawling. So a lot of low RPM. So anyways, all right. Hopefully everybody's having a great night. And uh, I'll be making some updates in the next couple of days. And definitely gonna do some documenting of uh, the trip to, to Drummond. All right, later.